Grade 12 CAT students, this video is for you. If you need to practice your web design, we are doing the Computer Applications Technology Prac Exam or Paper 1 from 2023, not the November one, but the June paper. And reminder that the data files are in the video description. So download them so that you can try out the paper as we watch this video. We are doing question six, which is the web design or HTML question in this video. So let's go have a look at it. Before I get into it, just a reminder that at the bottom of the question paper is an HTML tag sheet. You really want to have this available when you are doing this question so that you can use it as a cheat sheet to help you. It's not technically cheating because they gave it to you, but there are lots of cool tips here that show you how to do things. For example, if they ask you to change the background color, then we can see exactly what the property is and how to write it. So they give you a lot of clues over here. So really tear this off of your exam paper and have it with you when you are doing question six. So here we've got question six. We may not use a word processor we must use some sort of HTML editor and they ask us to open up the 61 initiative file in a web browser and also in an HTML editor so let's show you how I do that there is the file that we want to change so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to edit it in notepad plus plus so here is the file it's been opened up in notepad plus plus I'm going to then run it in a browser I'm going to open it up in Chrome and there we can see that it's opened up in a Chrome browser. So we can see what it looks like here and what the code looks like here. So I'm going to drag this to this side and then I'll put the browser on the other side. So I can have the code over here and see what it looks like over here. So let's go look at the first question. The final page should look like this. So they give me what it should look like. And then we scroll down and 6.1.1. Insert your examination between the center tags to display in bold text. The number on the screenshot is just an example. So let's go to, there it is. So between here, we must put your examination number. So if you're writing this exam, you'll have your examination number. So you will put that number. I don't have one, so I'm just going to put in some sort of random number. But you would put in your number and they say we must put it in bold. So that means we must bold that value. So we're going to then over here put a B tag around it. And then we're going to close the B tag at the end. Just a reminder with HTML editors like Notepad++, when you click on a tag, if it goes purple, then you know it's correct that it's been closed correctly. If I didn't do that B tag there and clicked on the B, you'll notice it doesn't go purple. So we really want to make sure that we have the closing tags. So when I click on it, it goes purple. So let's save it. And then we come here and we refresh it. And you can see there is your examination number at the top. Then 6.112, insert HTML code so that the image appears next to the text find your freedom as displayed in the screenshot. So if you look here, the find your freedom must be on this side of the picture. So the picture's on that side. So we're going to change its alignment. So we want this picture to be on the left side and the text to be on the right. So this image over here, we can see that we're going to add a tag. We're going to add a line equal to the left so that it goes to the left side and the text will then go to the right side. Let's save it. Let's refresh. And there we can see that the text is on that side. If we made it a bit bigger, you can see that it looks exactly like it does in the diagram. So let's leave it at this size. Maybe that's a bit better. 6.1.3, modify the horizontal line to display across 80% of the page. So to come over here. So there's the horizontal line. We want it to display over 80%, which means the width not equal to 80, because that means it's going to be 80 pixels. If I just type in 80, you'll see over here, refresh it's a very small little line we want it to be 80 percent so i'm put 80 percent it must be the width it save and refresh and now you can see that it's 80 percent of the page no matter how big i make it it'll always be 80 percent of the page 6.1.4 modify the code so the text color above the table appears the same as in the table so if we look over here the text in the table is all looks like it's all black and here we've got a different color over here so let's go over here there's the font tag so we want to change that to let's change it to black we save it and we refresh ah you can see that the text over here is now visible because we changed it to black 6.1.5 insert the urban image to match the other images as shown in the screenshot so let's have a look there so we want those images to all look like that let's go find 6.1.5 there we go so we want this image over here if we display it you see that that image is not working. So it's the middle one. So this is the image that we want to change. So first of all, it's got a width and it's got a height. So we're going to actually make it the same height. So I'm going to put that height over there just so that they are both the same. And it does not have a source. So let's put a double quote there. We want to put in a source and they want the six underscore urban image. So we're going to put that in there. But what type? I think it's .jpg. All the others are JPEG. So let's save it. And let's go view and see if that changes things. 
Okay, so it did work correctly. It did put the image in. Luckily, it was a JPEG. If it wasn't a JPEG, you could then come here to the picture. That's the one that we want. You could have right clicked on the picture, gone to properties and seen what type of data file it is so that you know what the extension is. So you must remember, you must put the extension of the image file if you want to display it. So we put in the 250 and we put in the picture. I think that is going to be the two marks for that one. 6.1.6 .6, modify the code so that the words discovering flowers will display on the next line with no open line between the text. Ah, that sounds like a break. So if we come here to 6.1.6, .6, there we go. So we want the word discovering flowers to always appear on a new line, but it mustn't be like a new paragraph. So that's going to be a break tag. Now remember, break tags are only one tag. So we put the slash in it straight away. It closes immediately. If you look here, you can see discovering flowers is always on a new line. Where if I make this big enough, you see discovering flowers is always next to hiking. But I've now inserted a break. So we're going to save it. We're going to come over here. We're going to refresh. And there we can see discovering flowers is always on a new line. 6.1.7. Edit the numbered list in the second column to appear as the same as the other two lists. So let's have a look. So there you can see the two lists. We can see them there. Okay, so do you see this is an ordered list and this is an unordered list. So that's the first thing we're going to change. We come here to 6.1.7. There we go. So you can see these uses an unordered list where this uses an ordered list and it didn't even close it. See, it's closed the unordered list, but it didn't open it. So we're going to change that to a UL. So now you see it's closed. So that's an unordered list. So that's the first change. Save it and we refresh it. And there it's changed to an unordered list, but these are little blocks and those are circles. Now you would notice over here that this used the type square. So we're also going to use the type square over here for our ordered list. Type square, let's save it come over here and refresh it and there you can see they are now square little blocks that's what you need for 6.1.7 then 6.1.8 modify the code so that the link will direct the user to a web address given in the data so let's go to 6.1.8 let's make this a bit bigger so we can see it there is the link and we want to go to that web address now the name is not the attribute that you would use for a hyperlink it's normally the name of a bookmark you could see that over here. This is a location. We actually want to a hyperlink. We want href. You see how useful this tag sheet is. So we want to change that to href. And then we save it. If we refresh it, you'll see that now it's a link. And we can put our mouse over it and it'll take it to a particular video. So that's how you get that mark. I think that's all done. So that's saved. We can now go to the next question, which is 6.2, which opens up a different HTML file. So let's go open that one. I'm going to right click on it and edit it in Notepad++. So there it is. We don't need 6.1 anymore. And then I'm going to run it in Chrome. So let's go look at what they want us to do. Modify the code so that the final page displays like this. So they want it to display like this. They tell us the size of the spacing between the cells is 50. So that tells me this is a table. Five changes that we want to do to this table so let's have a look at what it looks like now okay so cape town big six and then we want these little blocks over here so we want a table over here so let's go look at the code so we have a tr tag first of all we've got these tr which are for rows but i don't actually see a table tag anywhere so that's the first row i don't see any other rows above it so let's and there's border one so i'm assuming that's part of the table let's first of all, let's come over here let's go put in a table tag and we're going to put border equals to one and we're going to then close this table all the way down. Yeah, oh, there's the closed table. So they deleted the table tag by some way. So that's the first thing I'm doing. Let's go look at our table. So first of all, let's go refresh. So that's a lot better. So now this one block, I think these blocks are in the wrong order. I think we've got a block that's in the wrong place. In our first row, we've got the VA waterfront, which is our heading that ends over there. And then we've got a picture that ends there. And then that's when the row ends. So there are a whole bunch of arrows we have here we want va waterfront cape point so we want each of these blocks over here to be its own little block and this is one big image it looks like so these arrows are one big image so we actually want this image to be in the middle here one big merged column and then these must shift to that column so it's quite a complicated question but they want this to be in the middle all the way and these must shift over here so we actually want this one with the image we want it to be merged over one two two, three, four, five, six. We want it merged over six blocks. So that means it must span over six rows. So where's the one with the image? There we go. There it's, it said span. We said span. So which span? We want a row span. That's the first thing. We want a row span and it must be spanned over six. So what that's going to do is it's going to 
take this image and span it over all six of these. So these will be next to the image and then these will be shifted into that block. Let's see what that does. Let's save. Let's refresh. That looks a lot better still. So we've got our arrows in the right place and the information. And then they did mention at the bottom here that the size of the spacing between the cells is 50. So that's for the whole table. So that means cell spacing. So I'm going to come over here and say cell spacing equals to 50. Let's see what that does. And we're going to refresh it. Oh, that looks a lot better. And we don't like these lines. If you look at the actual diagram, it doesn't have those lines. So maybe our border shouldn't be one. Maybe our border should be zero. I'll try that. Let's save it and refresh our page. Okay, so that, oh, we're getting so close. I think it's very close to what we want it to look like. And then all the blocks are the same color, except for that one. So that one I think needs to change. So we need to find that one. So where is the Hrut Constantia? There it is. If we look at the other ones, our like K point, they've got a BG color. So let's put that light blue color. I'm gonna copy it and put that into the TH Hrut Constantia. Save it. And we're gonna, there we go. So, okay, so let's see, what did we change? We changed, that was one. We put the table in, which was was two. We made that a zero, three. The spacing was four. And we put the row span was five. I think that's all the marks. I think that's the five marks because that's the five changes. So there we go. And then if we did everything correct with our tags, then we would get that extra mark. It looks like it's spot on. And there we go. We're gonna then close that, make sure that it's saved. And there we go. We are done with question six. If you found this video useful, then please do us two favors by clicking that subscribe button and sharing us with your friends. You can also help us out by subscribing to our at Mr. Long Computer Terms and following us on Twitter as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.